President Tinubu's minister is in deep trouble right now. Now we are going to go into that story now. That's about better Edu. But before we go into that, please do where to subscribe to this page. Subscribe, click on subscribe below. It's the red button below. Click on it, like this video and turn on the notification bell. You can as well share this video. People need to watch it. Okay, now a few days ago, Minister of Poverty Elevation, that's Minister of uh, Humanitarian Affairs, Better Edu was arrested. First of all, she was suspended and before ESCC invited her and then kept her over alleged misappropriation of funds. Now, it was alleged that she trans, uh, transferred 585 million naira into a private account. And that money was meant to, uh, for humanitarian services. She then she transferred it to, instead of transferring it to agencies account or under accounts, she transferred it to a private account. And since that time, problem has been looming. People ca call for removal, many people call for removal, opposition call for removal, that's opposition party, call for removal. Nigerians took to media to call for her removal, but then President, a few days ago, President Tinibu suspended her. Now, not only suspended her, yesterday EFCC invited her. She, w she went to honor that invitation, you know, after honoring the invitation, now she's still with EFCC. You know, now the story now is that she's now in a big trouble because EFCC said that she must not leave the country. She must not leave. Now, according to the news, now EFCC has seized her international passport and her traveling documents. Now, according to the news you can see on the screen right now, EFCC yesterday seized the travel, doc travel documents of suspended Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation. Dr. Beta Edu and her predecessor, Hajiya Sadia Omar Farouk. ESCC also impounded the, impounded the international passport of the suspended national coordinator of the National Social Investment Program Agency, Haruma Shembu. Shehu. So not only her, other people, her predecessor and the people working in the ministry, EFCC seized their international passports and travel documents. Now many people are talking to social media to say many things concerning this woman. You know, people say that it's not enough to suspend her, it's not enough for EFCC to invite her, that President Tinibu should just remove her. You know, she should, he should remove her so that she will not bear that name. Suspended minister, let her be sacked minister. So I don't know what to think of this. Go to the comment section and drop a comment. And you can see on the screen, you see this woman many times. She has said many things. We can remember that the other time she said that uh, they are going to use uh, GPRS to share palliative. That one cause problem. Many Nigerians said, how can you use GPRS to share palliative to Nigerians, to people in a rural? Rural places. Now I want you to take I want you to take your time and watch this video. GPS and the rest of it to really identify how if this has been delivered how are you to going this to, location. How are you going to do this? How? Because technology is nebulous. How? Precisely, are you going to ensure that they deliver the okay, doorstep so of like, people like, like where we don't said. have accurate numbering system in homes in Nigerian streets? You can get to the street and have number twenty one and number forty four at the back, at the front. So how do we do it? How? Okay, like I said, it's a GPS thing. It's not just about um, the numbering. So from the GPS, using there are many applications that can be used to identify where a person is and if it has been delivered to a particular places. Of course, we have all the logistic companies that use all of these applications. We can deploy them. That's why we said private sector collaboration. We can deploy all of this. In the past, we used to have the ODK. So if I come to this house to give immunization, they can be able to know whether I have arrived at this location. So how are you going to use GPS to share palliative? How? Even in, uh, in Arrest TV that day, uh, Rufai was asking her, how are you going to use GPS to share palliative? She was trying to uh, cover up. Now, who knows, maybe she, the GPS is private account, using private account to Still 585 million naira, a mo money budgeted for poor people. You transfer that money to a private account. 
So many things have been said about this woman, and many people have been supporting her. If you go to social media, it's discovered that Nigerians are not supporting this woman. How can you do that? And if let me just tell you, if you don't know, she is the youngest minister in Tinubu's cabinet. She's just 36 years old. She's just 36 years, the youngest minister, and she's doing this. So how do you want uh, people to? To, to give power to youth again. I don't have much to say. You have watched watch everything, you have seen everything. Go to the comment section, drop a comment for us. Don't forget to share this video, drop a comment, share it, and also subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video. Bye.